Paul Kirk, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia dot o-r-g. Paul Leland Kirk, born 9th of May, 1902, died June of 1970, was a chemist, forensic scientist, and participant in the Manhattan Project, specialized in microscopy. He also investigated the bedroom in which Sam Shepard supposedly murdered his wife, and provided the key blood spatter evidence that led to Shepard's acquittal in a retrial over twelve years after the murder. The highest honor one can receive in the criminalistic section of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences carries Kirk's name. 1. Education Kirk was educated at a variety of universities. He received his bachelor's degree in chemistry from Ohio State University and got his master's degree in chemistry from the University of Pittsburgh. He went on to receive a Ph.D. in biochemistry from the University of California. 2. Career In 1929, Kirk became professor of biochemistry at UC Berkeley. According to Kirk, he first became interested in forensic science in his early days as a teacher, after a student asked if it could be determined if a dog had died of poisoning. Forensic science permanently piqued his interest when authorities asked him to do a microscopic examination of a rape victim's clothing. He found fibers from the attacker's shirt, and this evidence resulted in a conviction. In 1937, Kirk became leader of UC Berkeley's criminology program. Due to his extensive experience in microscopy, Kirk was asked to join the Manhattan Project, where he worked on the process to isolate fissionable plutonium from 1942 to 1945. When he returned to Berkeley, he created a major in technical criminology, and when August Vollmer established the School of Criminology, Kirk was appointed to chair the criminalists' department. Kirk was also an avid supporter of Locard's exchange principle. As a result of his detailed descriptions of the principle, Kirk's words have repeatedly been mistaken for those of Edmund Locard himself. Unlike others before him, Kirk understood the limits of the principle and argued for caution in the interpretation of exchange evidence. Kirk is best known for his work in the Sam Shepard case. On the 22nd of January, 1955, one month after Shepard's conviction, Kirk visited the scene of the crime after which he wrote an extensive report, primarily based on bloodstain pattern analysis. A motion for retrial had been denied in 1955, but this decision was overturned in 1964, and in 1966 the Supreme Court upheld the decision for a retrial. Later that same year, Kirk testified at the retrial, which led to Shepard's acquittal. Kirk's testimony embarrassed Samuel Gerber, a senior member of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences who was working for the prosecution and believed in Shepard's guilt. Kirk was denied AAFS membership, but he still left his mark on the organization. The highest honor awarded in the criminalistic section of the AAFS is the Paul L. Kirk Award. For more information on some of these topics, visit the articles on Forensic Scientist. Manhattan Project, Sam Shepard, Criminalistics, American Academy of Forensic Sciences. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.